first one. She left the dead bulb city dust of LA for the exhaling bloodlust web of San Francisco. Ugh. Make that. To her, San Francisco sketched out a manuscript of surrendering, pulse beating, chill poundings. A prologue. She foresaw the city's nucleus, a fortress of living heaven, a fiction city played out in black and white applause. Wasp heated Bohemia in the dialogue of Ginsberg and Kerouac. Mexican angels and mule mountain tales. <sighs> Listen to me. Too contrived. <clears throat> First one, she came to San Francisco in trains of foreign-boned passion, passing moors of hollow woe and chicken croaking lands of suburbia, to a fish town of smoking longings and radio fantasies, rickety wooden trams and dingling mission and first. She discovered with ordinary hope a pain to love like the ordinary people in the city. To her, San Francisco meant a sphere of harvesting planet songs, a backdoor of contemplation of recorded observation and speed, sweet honey speed triggering, a range of terror emerging from a dive of greyhound fever and Cupid's exit. Ugh, no, too sentimental. L let me try that again. First one, she embraced San Francisco. To her, it was a journal of single lines, verbs and rapid trills. Nerve-sculled, modern-motored, A-minor, shake, shake. A flashlight of whiskey-walled saloon bars, elegantly backlit, containing transfixing thanks. Ugh, oh, no, this is too wordy. Verse 1. She came to accept the soil sin which burnt through the fragmented bay. A scorn of pumpkin rooftops and rioting graves. Oof. Too pessimistic. I don't want to sound bleak. First one. She was the depth and valleys of the city she came to love. Behind her cloak of Nero's tricks was a gypsy goat of Cactus heart dwelled and bowed to a poet's horn. I love this. San Francisco was her satin hour debate, her reign and kingdom low lay to her trusted fate. And for this time only, it belonged to her. Mm-hmm.